if you own a Samsung 2022 TV. In this video, I will show you how to access the Samsung Game Hub. I will also show you how to link your Xbox account so that you can have Xbox Game Pass on the Game Hub. And we'll also cover the other streaming services as well if you want to stream other games through the different services. We first have to cover one thing. You have to make sure that you are on 1302.5. In order to do this, you will have to do it through the menu and you go to software update and then you go to update now. This will show you that 1302.5 is now available. You are going to need this firmware update if you want the Samsung Game Hub. Now I will cover pretty much everything else that changed with the S95B in a separate video, but right now we're focusing on the whole entire Samsung 2022 TV lineup so we can show you how to get the Game Hub up and running because it is now available. All right, so once you have updated your TV software, you are going to want to go to the Game Hub tab, which is going to be located by pressing the home button and scrolling to the left until you see the game icon. This is just a game controller. You hover over that and now you are in the Game Hub. First, you will see that there are different streaming services available to you. In this example, I'm going to show you how to first link your Xbox controller or any other Bluetooth compatible controller will work as well. So you're going to want to go to the controller icon, select that, and it will say pair new controller. It will ask you what kind of controller you're pairing. I choose Xbox and then I sync it by pressing the sync button on my Xbox, which is located at the top of the controller. This next part, you got to make sure you actually hit the OK button on the controller you're pairing on the Samsung TV, because if you don't do that, you'll just feel like you're just trying to pair it forever and it won't pair. So make sure you do hit the OK button. I did deal with that myself. So let's go on to the next step. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the Xbox Game Pass streaming service. So this is uh, assuming you have a Xbox Game Pass service. If you don't, you can get one for $15 a month. If you're interested, I did link it in the description below as well as other affiliate links. So if you're using those, it helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much. Let's talk about why I like Game Pass so much. I highly recommend Game Pass. I think it is one of the best game streaming services available. And it also is very handy if you have an Xbox console yourself so that you can have access to games on demand that you could just download and play in HDR. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna go ahead and install the Xbox app. It will prompt you to log into your Samsung account. If you haven't made a Samsung account yet, go ahead and do this. It is required if you're going to use the Game Hub. All right, now that you have your account made, now you're going to go ahead and link your Xbox account to the Samsung TV. The way that you're going to do that is just go ahead and click the Xbox app. It will show you a code and then you go to the website, log into your Xbox account through the website, enter the code that you see on the TV. And then just like that, your Xbox account is linked with your TV. Now you will have access to all of your Xbox Game Pass games and you will be able to stream them via the Xbox Cloud. Now, this is actually a really cool service and I was able to play a couple of games quite easily. Now, I have to say there is a tiny bit of input lag, but it's not as dramatic as I first thought. I will do a full Game Pass review and just really the whole entire cloud streaming service review in a separate video, but this video is just all about getting you set up. I did end up playing the newest Ninja Turtles game and I didn't have any problem with the input lag there. It felt pretty good. Honestly, I could play this game and really not struggle playing it. I did also try Forza Horizon 5 just to see how it would feel and it wasn't that bad. And honestly, the input lag I thought it was going to be horrible, make things unplayable, uh, but that wasn't the case. Quality wise, you really have to have a good connection to be able to enjoy this. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the greatest connection right now, but that is something that will change pretty soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. But even with my kind of bad connection, I had a good experience and it didn't look that bad. So I was pretty happy with how it looked. I also ended up trying out NBA 2K22 and really I was able to hit my free throws. So that should tell you all you need to know about the input lag. It's pretty doable and honestly playing casual on this thing is really nice. And I highly recommend you try it out even if you're not really into gaming that much and you just maybe want to play the occasional casual game. I gotta say there's some pretty fun stuff on there that I can highly recommend you 
actually try out. There's also access to GeForce Now, which is another streaming service. There's Stadia and uh, Utomic. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that is. I haven't even dove into that yet, but we will look more into it a little bit later. Another cool thing is you can actually link your Spotify account with this so that if you want to listen to music and play games at the same time, you also have quick shortcuts to your HDMI inputs that are game consoles right there on the game hub as well, which is really nice. Okay, so like I said, there's going to be another update video on the S95B specifically because there was quite a big change with the 1302.5 update involving movie mode. So if you're a big fan of movie mode, hold off on this update for right now. But all of you guys that really don't care about that and just want the game hub, go ahead and download this. It's great. I highly recommend it. I will do a separate video doing the whole entire review on the Xbox cloud service through the Samsung TV. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing for more TV content. And if you wanna watch more videos on Samsung TVs, click one of these videos right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.